What is up guys, TechRex here. So in this video, I did my most uh, most dangerous uh, iPhone 5 test I've ever done on my channel yet. I was uh, very scared of myself doing this. I poured sodium hydroxide on a heated stainless steel pan. Now this is a very, very strong base. It's a chemical, not an acid, but it dissolves aluminum and glass, which are both components of the iPhone 5. And what I did is I pretty much just mixed it around and made sure uh, it, you know, kind of heated up for a few minutes, gave it a few minutes, started around, uh, you know, around for a little bit using both sta uh, stainless steel pan and a stainless steel uh, tweezers, which are the only thing that is actually resistant to this chemical or else um, the pan itself would dissolve. Uh, so I really do recommend, guys, uh, do not do this at home. Uh, I myself shouldn't have I inhaled some terrible fumes during this video uh, and I'm not a chemist this is probably supposed to be uh, performed under a fume hood I did this video anyways for your guys' entertainment so I hope you guys uh, do enjoy your video this is the first step that I did let's go ahead and move on to the second step so after I heated up the sodium hydroxide I got the iPhone 5 and I I put the stopwatch on and I know I was really off by I'd say maybe 10 11 seconds you could subtract that cuz it was really really tough doing this at the you know multitasking but I got some water and I poured it over the iPhone and the um, hydroxide and basically the reaction started to occur iPhone began uh, you know dissolving and one of the funniest things is you can actually see if you look closely that the screen switches on the iPhone uh, where it says cancel and uh, swipe to shut down those two things rearrange and then you could see the timer uh, it stops at around I'd say 39 40 seconds um, something goes up and then you have a temperature warning and then looks like you have the Apple symbol and then there it goes off and uh, I believe that's where it really started dissolving. You can see this is how I was honestly really, really afraid myself at this point. Um, you know, I was using the gas mask, but I, I was still smelling some fumes. So uh, at this point, you could see the camera is really wobbly, but I was doing my best to capture this on film. So after halfway through the experiment, I flipped over the iPhone to find that it was completely white. Uh, turned from black to white, almost this silver metallic -y color. And at this point, I, you know, I knew I had to stop. I, I could have, you know, kept going, but I just, I was really too worried. I, it, I'm doing this in my own kitchen, you know, just mind that. And I, I took some uh, vinegar, which is a weak acid, and I poured over uh, to, you know, neutralize this base and get rid of it, uh, so I can, you know, dump it out. And it was out, it was all splashing, you know, everywhere on the counter. And you know, if that gets on your skin, you're going to the hospital. So I managed to neutralize it. And that was that. So final recap of what actually happened to this iPhone 5. Well, uh, you had a yellow tint on top of the phone uh, on the screen. SIM card slot was completely dissolved. Obviously, you had that silver looking color. Uh, side button was completely gone. Uh, volume markers were actually still intact and, you know, clickable. Um, home button still there. Bottom ports were all just messed up. Uh, top power button completely gone. So that is pretty much it guys for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. It took me a while to make and as always guys, peace out.